If you've ever found yourself staring at a daunting credit card bill, wondering how you ended up in this debt dilemma, you're in the right place. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind a common financial challenge, credit card debt. You see, it's not just about the numbers on the statement, there are deeper factors at play that often lead us down this slippery slope. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand the whys, but also be armed with practical strategies to conquer that credit card debt. Number 7. Easy Access to Credit Credit cards are undoubtedly a double-edged sword. Sure, they offer convenience of buying things without carrying cash around, but they also make it a bit too easy to spend beyond our means. That buy now, pay later mentality might feel great in the moment, but it can land you in hot soup later. And there's an added complication. Banks love giving out credit cards. They are a major source of revenue for them due to the multitude of fees, not to mention interest on outstanding balances. Also, there's all that rich data that comes along with it. Credit card spending information is like a treasure trove of insights that helps them understand how their customers tick. With this, they can develop targeted product offerings and goodies that encourage spending, which generates even more revenue for them. As a result, banks are extra motivated to acquire credit card customers like you and me, throwing out signing up benefits such as cashback or free gifts. Don't fall for these though, unless you intended to get a card anyway. Otherwise, the ease of signing up for a card you don't need will inevitably come back to bite you later. Number 6. Lack of Financial Education One major reason people find themselves stuck in the debt maze is a lack of financial education. It's like trying to navigate a complex jungle without a map, you're bound to get lost. See, credit cards come with a bunch of terms and conditions, from interest rates to minimum payments. But here's the kicker, many of us dive into these agreements without fully understanding the ins and outs, and that's where the trouble starts. Without a solid grasp of how credit cards work, we can end up spending more than we realize, racking up those balances faster than a kid in a candy store. So what's the solution? It's simple, really. We need to arm ourselves with knowledge. Learning the ABCs of credit card basics, understanding interest rates, and knowing how to read the fine print can make a world of difference. It's like having a compass to navigate that jungle. You'll steer clear of those debt traps and make smarter financial decisions. So before you swipe that card again, take a moment to educate yourself. Number 5. Unforeseen Emergencies Life's got a knack for throwing curveballs, right? Medical bills, car repairs, sudden emergencies, they're like unexpected guests that demand cash on the spot. In these moments, credit cards can seem like a lifeline, a way to keep your head above water when unexpected financial storms hit, and that might work in the short term. But here's the thing, relying on credit cards to bail you out of emergencies can lead to a whole new set of problems down the line. Those balances can snowball faster than an avalanche, and before you know it, you're drowning in debt. So, what's the game plan? It's all about preparation. Building an emergency fund, even a small one, can be your financial superhero in times of need. Having a cushion to fall back on means you won't have to turn to credit cards as your go-to solution, whether it's setting aside a portion of your paycheck or selling that old exercise bike gathering dust in your garage, having a safety net can save you from the debt deluge. Remember, it's not a matter of if an emergency will strike, it's when. So be ready, stay afloat, and keep those credit cards in check. Number 4. Living Beyond Means Ever tried to keep up with the Joneses? You know the drill, you've got the latest gadgets, the trendiest clothes, and you're dining out like it's a food festival every day. It feels good, right? Until that credit card bill arrives and suddenly, reality hits like a ton of bricks. Living beyond our means might seem harmless in the moment, but it's a major driver of credit card debt. When we spend more than our income can handle, we rely on credit cards to bridge the gap. But those swipes can add up scary fast, and before you know it, you're in a debt pit that's tough to climb out of. What's the antidote? It's all about finding that sweet spot between what you want and what your wallet can handle. Budgeting is the name of the game. Creating a realistic budget and tracking your expenses can keep you in check and help you make wiser spending choices. 
Sure, that flashy lifestyle might look appealing, but ask yourself, is it worth the stress of juggling debt? Finding balance is the key to financial freedom, and that's a goal worth aiming for. So let's leave those debt traps behind and start living within your means, one budgeted purchase at a time. Number 3. Peer Pressure and Social Influence Sure, we all want to fit in, but trying to match the spending habits of your pals can lead you down a not-so-fun path. It's natural to feel the itch to keep up with what you see on the gram, to join the fun and show off your spending game, but all that FOMO comes with a hefty catch. Let's be real, trying to match your buddy's spending can put you on a fast track to credit card debt. It's like a whirlwind romance with debt that starts off exciting but ends in financial stress. That's because those unplanned buys and lavish outings can quickly add up, leaving you with a hefty credit card bill that's not so fun to deal with. One great strategy to resist the allure of peer pressure is to master the art of distraction. When the urge to splurge strikes, shift your focus to free or low-cost activities that bring you joy. Take up a new hobby, explore local events, or have a cozy movie night in. By redirecting your energy, you're not only sidestepping financial traps, but also creating lasting memories that won't break the bank. Number 2. Impulse Buying Impulse buying is like a stealthy ninja, striking when you least expect it. It's easy to spot something shiny and before you know it, your credit card is swiped and you're left wondering, what just happened? Sound familiar? You're not alone, but here's the deal. Giving in to those impulsive spending sprees can pile up into a big ol' heap of credit card debt. Those quick unplanned purchases can give you a short-term thrill, but they can quickly become a long-term financial headache. It's like a roller coaster ride that starts with excitement but ends with a stomach-churning drop. How do you avoid this trap? Setting spending limits, practicing mindful spending and giving yourself a cooling off period before making a purchase are three great places to start. It's all about introducing barriers that prevent you from spending impulsively, whether that's a daily card spending limit or forcing yourself to wait a week before making any big purchases. Number 1. The Minimum Payment Trap You probably know this scenario, your credit card bill arrives and you think, I'll just pay the minimum this month. It seems like a smart move to ease the immediate burden and give you more cash in hand, right? Well, this is a common pitfall that so many people fall for. Paying only the minimum balance might offer short-term relief. But here's the kicker. It can lead to a never-ending cycle of debt that's trickier to escape than a labyrinth. Those interest charges can pile up faster than a stack of pancakes at brunch, leaving you with a bigger balance and a longer repayment timeline. The answer to this one is pretty obvious, always pay more than the minimum. With so many people living paycheck to paycheck, it can seem impossible. But even just a little bit extra can make a big difference in the long run. Think of it like this. Paying only the minimum is like trying to empty a bathtub with a tablespoon, it's slow going, and you're never going to get to where you want to be in any kind of reasonable time frame, but if you use a water scoop, that bathtub's gonna empty a whole lot faster. Before you know it, that debt will be gone and you'll be sailing in financial freedom. Check out these videos next on how to be a more mindful spender.